Hi, this is William. Welcome to Flyspoke, and I'm going to show you uh, how to tie a fly of my creation called the O Peachy Smelt. And uh, that's a uh, place in New Hampshire, a lake in New Hampshire, to fish for landlocked salmon. And uh, it's worked very well for me last year, and already this year I've had uh, I've had success with the fly. Um, it's just a nice uh, nice combination of wood duck and uh, sparkly green material for the body. And I'll run the base coat down so that it's right where the barb used to be hanging straight down. And the first thing I'm going to use is some lemon wood duck. And I'm going to make a tail. And you don't need a real lot. Make sure that they're fairly even. You're not going to be able to stack this or See if, how much of it you can get to sit on top of the hook. Okay, and then I'm going to trim away, leaving leaving a quantity so I can just uh, wrap that body down and create a base for the body. And the next item in this fly is what's called ice dubbing. And uh, I use the uh, peacock black color. Once you start wrapping, then you can spin. And each time you make a wrap, just spin it down tighter and gives you a nice looking body. Lots of nice flash in this uh, in this material. Okay, then just go with your thread, just go back over the, with your thread and you'll pull it down in. Then just take a uh, some sort of a brush, any kind you have, an old toothbrush, an old pick. Just kind of rough it, pushing it backwards. It'll pick out some of the little hairs. Next item into the fly, some uh, red, a red hackle. And what I'm doing is, is I'm taking the uh, fluffiest part of the red hackle, and I'm just going to rip off not a not a big quantity. There you just you just want there it is right there. Now you notice I'm leaving some room at the head. And I'll trim away the balance. Make sure that's secured well. Okay, the next item is just a small little tuft of olive color marabou. And that olive color marabou I'm going to be tying in as a wing. And I want it to go as far back as the tail. I measure and I trim. And I'm just going to set that on the top of the hook. I'm pulling fairly strongly on it to make sure that it's, it's pretty well down in there. Now Marabou, when it gets wet, slicks right down nicely. It makes for a very, very sleek look to it. It has lots of movement in the water. Okay, the next item to go in is a, uh, another lemon wood duck feather. 
and I'm picking one out that is fairly fine with a stem that's not too thick and I've stripped off the fluff and I'm going to tie it in by the point so I pull back on some of the material I'll just tie it in and I'm going to save that front part because this is valuable material and that can be the tail of your next fly just tie that in nicely now I'm going to spin this as a collar and I leave both sides you notice on I didn't strip it just push it back just forms a collar. Trim it away nice and tight. Now I'm going to work on making a very nice looking head. And I want the head to be a little bit longer a little accentuated to the front and I will finish off the olive thread with a whip finish And then the uh, final step for this fly, I take a little, I take some red thread and I'm just creating a tiny little uh, band of red thread. Sort of like what Carrie Stevens used to do on some of her flies, just just a little distinctive touch. Just take a little lacquer, usually do two applications of lacquer, makes the heads really shine a little bit, makes them look good. There it is.